Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here and in today's CCNA and CCNP training video, especially for those of you working on the switch and t-shoot exam, live and in person it is Root Guard and the Inconsistent Ports. And I am definitely taking that name when I get that band started. So let's see, the live and in person part is going to come in because most of today's video is going to be on the live equipment. We're going to be spending about 30 seconds literally going over the theory of root guard because if you've studied for those exams before you probably have that down cold but the information you need to see when you have inconsistent ports might not be where you think it would be so again we're gonna do this live we're gonna put root guard in action we're gonna see it in action we're gonna see a port go into root inconsistent state whatever that means and then we'll actually see what that does actually mean so again I join I invite you to join me out on Twitter YouTube the blog and Facebook and we'll see you there. Let's go ahead and jump into a quick theory review here and what root guard does. What we're doing here is attempting or we are going to prevent a downstream switch from becoming the root because once we've got our network set of course we could always have switches join it later and of course depending on the priorities etc a switch that we don't want to become the root could become the root. That could be because it's out at the access layer of the three layer switching model. Maybe we don't want our roots out there. Maybe we just want to make sure that a rogue switch can't get connected to a certain port or a given port on the switch and end up becoming the root. So this is what we're doing. Now the actual action that's taken is that when a port that is root guard enabled receives a superior BPDU, that's one that would make that downstream switch the root, the port goes into root inconsistent mode. Now that mode might not appear where you'd think, so this video may be a little longer than usual because I really want to spend the time on the rack here. So we'll call that up in just a moment and also note in the theory that it is a superior BPDU only that's going to have that effect. If an inferior BPDU comes in on a port protected by root guard, it's not going to care. It's not going to take any action. So let's take a look at this. We've got two switches here in this lab and I'll just describe to you what we have and we have one trunk connection that's it VLAN 1 everything is at the default here's switch 1 and you can see that we've got a trunk and for our lab purposes what we're going to do is tell switch 1 if any superior BPDU comes in on port FAST09 then we want the port to go into root inconsistent mode so we're going to do this for lab purposes give us something to look at so let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go fast 09 and the full command is spanning tree and of course we've got a lot of options here and the one we want here is guard and what are we guarding against? Good way to remember it, root. And believe it or not there are no other options, no 47 options here. So spanning tree guard root and we put it on 09 and almost immediately we get a message from the console and that's because switch 2 the downstream switch was the root and this is something else you have to watch if you put this on the wrong port like say a trunk port leading to the actual root switch you're gonna lose that connection so I wanted to see this for t-shooting as well now here's the deal span tree root guard config change we're getting told everything we need to be told the root guard has been enabled and literally if by the timestamp at the same time root guard is blocking port 09 because a superior BPDU came in on that port. So there you go. The one thing, and actually let's run show spanning VLAN 1 now and we should see that root 1 has indeed become the root. Now the one thing we didn't see up here in these messages that we're used to seeing is that you know the port goes down or the line protocol goes down and when a port goes into error disabled mode like say with port security that's exactly what happens but let's run show interface fast 09 here this might surprise you a bit that port is still operational it's up and the line protocol is up and we see connected right here so again with error disabled ports we're used to seeing you know this is down line protocol is down and we'll actually see error disabled here but you are not going to see root inconsistent here in the show interface output one place you will see it, let's try show spanning, ah, inconsistent ports. See, it happens to everybody. 
show spanning inconsistent ports and it tells you right away VLAN 1 fast 09 you've got your inconsistency is that your route is inconsistent so thank you for that information now what do I do you may have noticed where else you would actually see this information and it's an unusual STP state that you won't see otherwise it's not one of those that you learned in your NA you know and of course have to have down for your NP let's take a look at that with show spanning VLAN 1 and you can see that we have a BKN for a status and you might not have ever seen that before that means literally broken that's what it stands for this is broken and it's even going to tell you right here you know I love this I love this kind of footnote indicator BKN asterisk and what does the asterisk mean we'll just go right down here and it says by the way that's because you're in root inconsistent state so again you're not going to see this in the output of show interface fast 09 or whatever the port happens to be you won't see it in show interface where you will see it is with of course show spanning inconsistent ports and you'll definitely see it with show spanning VLAN 1 so the theory of course is that once those inferior BPD excuse me the superior BPDUs stop coming in then this will clear up so you know what we're gonna do to test that theory we're gonna go over to switch 2 and increase its priority for VLAN 1 let's go over and do that so of course 2 also thinks it's the route for VLAN 1 right now because they're not even communicating over that so we've got a bit of a mess right now and what we're gonna do is increase the priority of this switch and that will make the BPDUs that, that switch one is getting not be superior but inferior and we'll see if that port actually opens up we're gonna use the really old-fashioned way of doing this right now we're gonna do spanning tree VLAN and we're going to do it for VLAN 1 and instead of using root here we're going to use priority and of course we got to do an in increments of 4096 so I will take the easy way out and just multiply that by 10 let's go over to switch 1 and see if this takes effect because what I did again is just raise that priority to 40,960 so the BPDUs that switch one's getting now should be inferior and that port should come out of inconsistent mode of course these things don't always happen immediately either but hey that's pretty fast check that out and it's already in listening mode so what we did once switch one started receiving inferior BPDUs on that port you can see the port did come unblocked dynamically because we all know you know you read some things in the books and this is supposed to happen dynamically etc and you know it doesn't always work out that way but in this case it certainly did with root guard and now we'll just go ahead and stick here for a moment learning and forward so now the network is the way it was before and everything's just fine and root one is still the root but the key is once the inferior BPDU started coming in root guard came out dynamically now let's say or unblock the port dynamically I should say let's run a show spanning incon real quick and you'll see that you actually see nothing here so that is exactly what we want to see at this point so let's say now that you put that on switch one on interface 09 and you say you know I really didn't mean to do that and what you can do is simply go in to the port let's use our up arrow here we could I believe put just no in front of this that's one option just to get rid of it and you can see it's going to give you the message root guard disabled let's go ahead and re-enable it because it's a lab and we can do whatever we want okay so it's been enabled now let's try that other option that we saw it's always a good way not to to know more than one way to do things and I want to do spanning tree guard and let's put none okay exact same thing so to take it off you could either just put the word no in front of the command as usual with no spanning tree guard root and then you could just use the spanning tree guard none command I know the first time I saw this I thought well why would I ever go to all this trouble uh, to set it at none because that's what it is to begin with but that's simply to negate one that you had already put on so there is root guard in action and we did see that that theory actually does hold when the inferior BPDUs came in 
the port came open again and we did not need to intervene. But a very powerful tool not only to stop a, a switch in the future from becoming the root inadvertently on your network, but also to prevent the introduction of a rogue switch to your network and it ends up becoming the root. So again, hope I see you out on our social media and our YouTube channel. I'm Chris Bryant. Enjoy your day.